This is CPM Calculus Chapter 4, Number 78. So given f of x is 2x, find the equation of a vertical line that would divide the integral from 0 to 10 of f of x dx in half. Okay? So we know the integral from 0 to 10 of f of x dx is the same thing as the integral from 0 to 10 of 2x dx, right? And we know how to solve this, right? This um, is just the area under the curve 2x. 2x is a line, right, with slope 2, and it crosses through the axis of 0 0.00, 0, right? x axis, y axis. And at slope 2, so 0 is here, 10 is here. So this is talking about the area under the curve from 0 to 10. And the shape of our curve, um, it crosses the x-axis, so the area is just going to be the area of this triangle, right? And the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height, which is equal to 1 half. The base here is 10 units, and the height is when we plug 10 into our equation 2x, right? Because this is the line y is 2x. So this height here is 2 times x, where x is 10, or 20 units. So this is 2 times 20. And so that's 1 half 10 times 20. Oh, I just wrote that again. 1 half times 10 is 5 times 20 is 100 units, right? So we're asked to find the vertical line that's going to cut this in half, right? So another way to look at this is we're trying to find the integral, right, from 0 to some value, right, let's say x, not 10. Now we're just looking for x here. I'm going to call this um, point x. Or I could even call it a anything, right? Um, let's call it a. 0 to a, I'm going to call that point a of 2x dx. And what do we want that to equal? Half of the area is 50 units, right? So 0 to a, this is a, not 9, right? 0 to a, we know this is just going to create a triangle with this area, right? And the base is going to be a, right? So that's equal to 1 half a times the height is just going to be plugged into our equation 2a, right? So that's equal to 1 half times 2, cancel out, that's equal to a squared. And where does a squared equal to 50? We can take the square root of both sides, and we know a is then square root of 50, or we know that's 2 times 25, right? 50 is 2 times 25, and then we could bring out the square root of 25, which is 5 square root of 2, right? So, if a is 5 squared to 2, then it's going to be the vertical line, right? And the vertical line is just the x value. x equals to 5 squared to 2 is the vertical line right here, which produces the area 50 units, okay? So, the equation of the vertical line here is x is equal to 5 squared to 2. And that ends for us, CPM Calculus Chapter 4, Number 78.